welcome to this film about uh, the automata and uh, about uh, the STEM content. We are going to talk about mathematics and I am Signe Maria Hansen. And my name is Oliver Thier. Yes. But what is then mathematics, Oliver? Mathematics is the science of patterns. So it's about exploring the world and searching for regularities, patterns uh, that emerge. And that is very helpful because if you understand regularities and patterns in a certain situation, then you can act in a meaningful way. And even more, if you see that two different situations have a comparable, uh, uh, similar structure, then you can as well act in this new situation in the meaningful uh, way. And that is very useful in problem solving. Yeah, and uh, problem solving is good, but mathematics is also a language. And when we are saying that, it's about learning concepts. So, and much of the work here with the automata will be about learning and using concepts. Uh, but if we are going to be more specific, what is then the mathematical content here? Alan Bishop has done research about this and he found six fundamental mathematical uh, activities in different cultures and uh, they are uh, we found can find them uh, all over the world and do those uh, six activities as well with young children in the preschool yeah and it is as oliver say very useful to um, to see what mathematics we can have and uh, they are very often seen in pairs uh, because they are complementary and uh, the first pair is uh, locating and designing. Locating is all about what is spatial. The being in space, using language about the spatial relations and also thinking about space. Uh, what we much do is that we, when we are working with the automata, is that we are using different concepts connected to space. In addition, when you have designing, it will be about the shapes and also about the patterns you can see in what you are doing and the patterns that also can be in the automata. So we have a combination of working spatial, using spatial concepts, and uh, shapes and patterns. And in addition, uh, numbers play a, an important role in mathematics. And we have two activities that are related to numbers. That is counting and measuring. Counting is about to find out how many I have. Uh, so I can count uh, the fingers, for example. And uh, but I can use counting as well to find a place in a series. Uh, I am the third person in a curve, for example. And uh, we use numbers as well to measure how much I have of of something and how long something are, because uh, there I can count how many units fit in this uh, object I shall measure. But measuring starts much earlier with young children. They start to compare directly. This is longer, this is shorter, this is heavier, this is lighter. Yes. And the last two ones are explaining and playing. Making the automata uh, means that you either a kind of reasoning by yourself what you are doing or if you are sitting together with other maybe some uh, of the persons around you are explaining a little bit about how it can be useful to do things uh, when you are then playing with the automatas automata then you 
uh, have a play which is continuing and to be able to have a play you have to be uh, have a certain agreement about the rules and and uh, agreeing about the rules is also about reasoning and explaining so both playing and reasoning and explaining is then kind of connected uh, as activities and you have that you uh, can play a play uh, or that you are playing a role play and both need this uh, uh, common uh, understanding of the situation or the whole play will collapse and there will be no play. Uh, there are two approaches that you can present the automata for the children and then building it uh, and that they want to build it because they have had it presented and the other one is that uh, they then uh, uh, build it and thereafter play with it. And Oliver will now talk a little bit about the first approach. Yes, when I uh, present this uh, automaton to, to the children, they uh, get cu curious, uh, so they want to explore how it works because it's doing amazing things. It moves and they can move it by themselves and if they uh, touch it here and move those ends and something is happening on the other end uh, that crocodile gets longer and uh, the mouth shuts and it's, it can bite someone and you can even uh, grab something and lift it if it is not too heavy Yeah, yeah, you can continue. Yes, and I uh, have another one uh, that has the same uh, mechanism. So it has a similar structure, a similar pattern, uh, and the movement is similar as well, but it goes in a different direction. Now it grows, it is a flower that uh, grows. Uh, so a lot of uh, mathematical concepts like uh, up and down and uh, forward and backwards and uh, hold and going through can be yes. and then you have all uh, the concepts for the shapes and they are important when you uh, make the automaton with the children because then they have to look at what shapes do we need so that is uh, rectangles and we need a specific amount of them so we have to count one two three one two three so one two three four five six rectangles we need and there are a lot of uh, pins uh, split pins that you need uh, and then you have uh, to make holes for the pins and hole is a mathematical uh, concept because a hole is something that something else can go through. So the split pin goes through the hole and the holes have to be at uh, certain places. So this one has to be in the center of the rectangle. Um, and how do you find the center? Uh, you can do this, for example, by measuring where is uh, the myth of the rectangle when you take the length. Uh, so there are a lot of mathematical activities. There is a, a pattern as well, and that is an important one to make it work. Uh, you have those rectangles, they are parallel, and they are all on one side, uh, and the other rectangles that go in the other direction, they are parallel as well, and they are on the back or on the upper side and the downside um, and you have uh, the length of the crocodile that is changing and uh, here are uh, different shapes the teeth are uh, triangles and, and a lot of mathematical concepts that you use when the uh, children assemble the toy because 
they have to assemble it in a uh, in the correct way so that it will work. Yes. So if we make a short summary here, uh, we will see that we have all the six fundamental activities, mathematical act activities from Bishop in use. And that was mainly everything we have to say about the mathematics uh, working with the different automata. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, thank you so much.